before you watch this movie you'll need to drink some five hour energy to prevent yourself from sleeping because man this has got to be one of the most boring and lazy horror movie i've seen in my life and that is the exorcism 2024 thank god it's getting completely clowned and completely destroyed from every single critic ron tomatoes 30 percent ign two out of ten because this shit is so boring and ass that I ain't even gonna lie, I'ma need my refund from AMC, I'ma need my time replaced, I'ma need my life back. I'm not the same person who I was two hours ago because of this movie. It's just completely ass. The way it starts off, it's so weird because this plot hole will not be revisited again in the movie because the movie starts off with this director he's in this house the set because the movie will take place mostly in a set because like fall guy this movie is a movie within a movie but fall guy did it way better they did it way more interesting the fall guy is a way better example to do this type of setting because they handled it perfectly in my opinion but this movie did not handle it it was completely ass in my opinion because this director he's doing his stuff he's doing his directing things then something paranormal a demon most likely kills him in that director set but no police was called they didn't shut down this set i don't know if this set kill was even canon because nobody even brought it up later there wasn't no oh this place is pretty haunted because a director got killed no they didn't even touch upon this later in the movie so this plot hole hits you in the face in the very first minute of the movie but after that we now see the two main characters anthony and lee anthony is like this failed actor who his life has been a complete downhill spiral he's went off the deep end because of his own actions and he's trying to rekindle the relationship with his daughter lee because he wasn't in her life due to being a young actor being you know influenced by drugs and alcohol and that consumed his life and lee is a 16 year old daughter and she recently got kicked out of her school for i guess vandalizing something so she has to come live with her dad and like at first it was just boring like it was boring there wasn't too much exposition i'll be honest with you some of their camera cuts were pretty decent but it was just boring like for a while it was just like them slowly showing anthony's kind of spiral and descent that it kind of led to this demon like taking control of him and lee is such a bland character like no shade to ryan simpkins who plays lee but this character in particular the way that she acted was not good like at first she just played a robotic role for the whole movie a robotic role up until the end and russell crowe as anthony he was pretty decent like he played some of his scenes decently but there's some scenes he did that were very questionable and i'm like man this shit just wasn't hidden as the movie's going on they're still kind of in the same place but we're seeing lee start to become like an intern to anthony's role of acting and the film they're acting is a movie about exorcism and anthony is the priest so anthony repeatedly fails lines before he was this like good actor so then the director adam goldberg you know he kind of got like berated for even accepting to make anthony be in the role but as the movie goes on and on and on anthony just keeps on failing to do any scenes so adam goldberg is a dickhead man in my opinion at first i thought that he was just like some random like director who would probably give him a hard time but one time when anthony screws up a scene adam goldberg comes up to anthony and tells him 
that you have to do better because you know he's tripping and he's tweaking and anthony we see in the movie that as a child he got molested or sexually assaulted by priests so adam uses that against anthony and tells anthony that i hope those priests like fuck some sense into you when you were 12 years old in the movie i was like what the fuck like that shit was so stupid like you know what i mean like it came out of left field you know what i mean and anthony like throughout the movie was just taking shit from adam and rightfully so because anthony was a pretty dickhead to his family he pushed him away because of his drinking and drugs problems and even with lee when anthony was starting to get possessed by the demon he was starting to kind of antagonize lee he wasn't taking his meds he was being weird doing you know paranormal shit you know how paranormal movies are and one time like lee was trying to give him medicine then he just completely flipped and then he just completely like tried to lock her in the door with his powers and saying that oh like you're just a dyke you know something like that but back to adam anthony's actions as a human and anthony's terrible decision making when it came to his family did not warrant anthony getting that disgusting comment from adam adam made that terrible comment about him being molested and raped as a 12 year old boy in my opinion lee should have killed him in my opinion the demon should have killed him but that's messed up anthony lost it and i guess the demon took full control of him he snapped there was a lack of police presence in this movie because when he snapped it was in front of every single person in there he was destroying everything destroying everything completely with his powers well not really destroying it like most likely just flickering the lights and causing the scene like a big commotion and people were running away and his body was contorting and snapping and like just destroying itself in front of everybody snapping his neck in front of everybody so anthony later now killed someone who was recasted by adam goldberg to remove anthony from the role because anthony has been tweaking he's been just tripping he's been not being good in his role so the person that was recasted as anthony in the movie when he was preparing to do his priest lines in that set anthony came through the mirror and choked him through the mirror within the glass like all fell on the actor's face killing him and the guy name was joe so when that happened the movie set finally shut down but there was still no police presence like i know the police wouldn't be able to do anything in regards to a paranormal demon but at least have them be there because this is a murder now and that same plot hole from the early intro still was not touched upon so as the movie is about to end we see lee her love interest blake and we see another priest father connor they're trying to stop anthony but anthony is just tweaking so when lee and blake were at home i guess they were making out because they heard of joe's death like they heard of joe's death and they just started making out and about to have sex you know what i mean it was kind of odd so anthony came and said some weird shit he came and said and he was possessed he was possessed mind you he came and he started to like scream and so then lee had to check on anthony to see what's up then anthony now like was screaming at lee like through the demon and, and the demon inside of him was saying oh you dyke bitch i bet i can eat you out better than she can he was telling this to his own daughter bro like he was trying to tell his daughter that he can eat her out better than her love interest blake and as this was going on he now charged at lee anthony charged at his own daughter slammed her on a table and in my opinion attempted to at least lick her face or molest her in some way what type of freaky ass diddy demon is this this demon has been going to too many diddy parties in my opinion but the fight kind of like broke up and then anthony when he got hand to head he now like jumped from the window i thought that he will kill himself but he just went to the same set the same movie set 
and there was still no police presence no police was called throughout the whole movie i didn't see no police investigating this so at the end of the movie when anthony he kind of mind controlled lee and the father connor and like with this whole like you know, back and forth demon stuff like it was so corny, I ain't gonna lie, and it was a waste of Russell Crowe's acting ability because I remember him playing Jor-El in Man of Steel. He was pretty decent in that role. So unfortunately, this movie ended as like the demon caused Anthony to kill the priest because the priest and Anthony swapped like control because the demon like hopped from Anthony to the priest but then the demon tried to kill Anthony as the priest, but Anthony now managed to stab the demon. So the demon could have been stabbed the whole time, but I guess that means like you have to stab the host body and kill the host body. So I guess the movie ended with Anthony being in jail because he was narrating and like the shadows look, look like there were like bars and cells and Lee left. I don't know what happened to Blake. In my opinion, this movie was ass. We didn't follow up on that scene in the intro. Adam Goldberg is a weird ass motherfucker. I don't know why the demon didn't kill Adam Goldberg. Possibly because the demon is with Diddy, in my opinion. When he tried to like molest his own daughter, bro, saying I can eat you out better. That's disgusting, bro. This movie is ass. But that's the end of the video. I'm out peace.